It has been almost precisely one year after the most current telescope that NASA has ever launched, which occurred on December 25, 2021. And since that time, the James Webb Space Telescope has never skipped a beat when it comes to shocking the general public with the unexpected discoveries it has made. An infrared observatory has recently been placed in orbit around the Sun, approximately one million miles from Earth, with the goals of locating the first galaxies to form in the early universe and researching the creation of stars and planets. All of us are currently in a state of complete and absolute astonishment as a result of the very first photos of a galaxy cluster that were recently made public by the James Webb Telescope. However, you see, this is not the conclusion of the matter. The James Webb Telescope has been responsible for an increasing number of scientific breakthroughs in recent months. And in this video, we are going to take a look at five of the most astonishing discoveries that have been revealed to the public by the James Webb Telescope. Stay tuned till the last one as that is quite a thrilling one. Number 1. Light from Exoplanets The James Webb Space Telescope was built in part with the intention of searching for planets that orbit stars other than our own Sun. This capability is demonstrated by the preliminary observations. James Webb Telescope has not only been able to view planets through the transit method, which is when an exoplanet passes close to its host system and blocks out some of the light from the star, but it has also been able to detect light coming directly from an exoplanet. The first extrasolar planet that Webb was able to directly image was a Jupiter-class world that revolved around a star known as HIP65426. Initial research indicates that the James Webb Space Telescope is operating significantly better than was anticipated based on its design specifications. This will enable more in-depth and precise observations of extrasolar planets than anyone anticipated was possible. Two further Jupiter-sized exoplanets have been revealed to have water and carbon dioxide in their atmospheres, thanks to transit studies by JWST. At number two, we have the most distant galaxies. The stretching of the cosmos causes light to have wavelengths that are moved toward the redder end of the spectrum when astronomers look further and further away in space. JWST was developed to take advantage of this trait in order to locate the galaxies that formed the earliest because a greater distance means an earlier point in time. Even with its preliminary observations, the JWST has discovered a large number of candidate galaxies that formed less than 400 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery surprised astronomers, who had anticipated that these far-off galaxies would only become visible after many observation cycles. Number 3. Complex Large Galaxies These faraway galaxies in general have more intricate structures than predicted by galaxy formation models based on previous observations. These models hypothesized that the first galaxies would be fragmented and irregular groupings of stars that would eventually smash with one another to produce more enormous galaxies with well-defined disks and possibly even spiral arms. On the other hand, the Webb Telescope has discovered a great number of early universe galaxies that have huge masses and well-developed disks. In fact, they occur around 10 times more frequently than was anticipated. Number 4. Dying Star's Final Hour An image of the planetary nebula known as NGC 3132 was obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope, which is operated by NASA. The fainter star in the picture center has, for an untold number of years, and in every direction, been radiating gas and dust into the cosmos in the form of rings. The star was originally seen to be covered in dust by the telescope, which provided this information. The Southern Ring Nebula is an alternate name for NGC 3132. Approximately 2,500 light years separate us from it. In this observation, the Southern Ring Nebula seems to be almost perpendicular to the observer. However, if it could be turned so that it was viewed edge-on, its three-dimensional form 
would much more clearly resemble that of two balls that have been joined together on the bottom, spreading apart with a huge hole in the center of the structure. Two stars, which are closely circling each other, are responsible for shaping the surrounding environment. The infrared images captured by Webb provide insight into previously unknown aspects of this complex system. The image on the right, captured by Webb's mid-infrared instrument, makes it clear for the first time in which the second star is enveloped in dust, while the image on the left, captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, focuses more on the stars and the layers of light emanating from them. The brighter star is in an earlier phase of stellar evolution. Therefore, it is possible that it will ultimately release its planetary nebula at some point in the future. The more brilliant star, in the meantime, has an effect on the appearance of the nebula. As the two bodies continue to orbit each other, they proceed to stir the pot of gas and dust, which results in the formation of asymmetrical patterns. And finally at number five. For the first time, the James Webb Space Telescope traced the path of an asteroid. On the eve of the beginning of the commissioning phase for the James Webb Space Observatory, the next generation of NASA's space telescopes, the Webb Space Telescope made its first observation of a moving asteroid. The fact that the Webb Telescope was able to successfully follow a closed object demonstrates that it is capable of monitoring not only things in the solar system, but also galaxies, stars, and other objects in the cosmos that it will see throughout the course of its utmost likely 20-year service life. 6841 Tenzing was determined to be the best candidate for observation. This main belt object was given the Tibetan mountaineer Tenzing Norgay's name in honor of the man, who along with Edmund Hillary, became the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. James Webb's observations were conducted out just a few days well before 69th anniversary of the summiting of the peak, which took place on May 29, 1953. This is a complete coincidence. The group purposefully selected the asteroid in such a manner that its name would be connected with success, which is something that is not readily achieved. Therefore, a list of 40 names was prepared, and among those names, 6841 Tenzing became the winner. When trying to keep up with changing targets, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope faces a number of unique hurdles. Because the telescope requires to switch between a cooler and a warmer position in order to follow asteroids, this can disrupt the fine alignments of the mirrors and equipment. The study of the asteroid will assist scientists in developing a more comprehensive understanding of the planets Uranus and Neptune, images of which were obtained by a single NASA Voyager 2 probe. The rings of Saturn, the composition of Titan's atmosphere, the discovery of new frozen bodies in the Kuiper belt, and the detection of Europa's occasional plumes are among the other scientific targets in the solar system. With the advancement of time, there's still a lot more to expect from James Webb Telescope. Let me know what you think about these discoveries we discussed. Also, if you enjoyed watching this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be the first to watch our newly uploaded video. Thanks for watching guys. Do check out these videos to get your mind blown.